Hello there, everyone. I don't know about you, but WrestleMania Night 1 was a fun event. <clears throat> it was it was loads of fun. I, I had fun watching it on stream. I had fun reacting to it on stream. But I also know that a lot of you probably didn't watch the stream because for two main reasons. Number one, the stream was most likely boring as hell. Because all he did was sit here for a long time periods of silence, and then speak. Or number two, it was four hours long, and it was, well, that was too long for you. So, luckily for you, <laughs> my friends, I made you a TLDR. Too long, didn't recall. Where we will be talking about just the facts. Who won what, what match happened, We will, that is it, nothing else. If you want ups and downs, well, what culture wrestling is the place to go? Google them. They have an ups and downs uh, video for you. So, let's get on with it, shall we? All right. First thing we started off with was, uh, number one, I learned that the watching the pre-show is a mistake. Because it is, it is a uh, WrestleMania. It is a two-night event. Watching the pre-show of WrestleMania 37 sucked, because literally it was nothing more than just watching Sports Center all night long. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Like they were talking about it. They were doing what the Super Bowl did every every time. They were analyzing what was happening, and that was it. Nothing else. Nothing more. Sorry about that. They were analyzing what was go, what could happen the matches that you'll see, and all that jazz. I found that kind of boring, so I just played games while I waited. Then, 5 o'clock rolled around. And what to what do my wondering ears should appear? A rain delay. Fuck this year. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. WrestleMania started out with a rain delay. Because that's what happens in Florida in May, in April. Oh well, I don't. The fans didn't care. Twenty-seven thousand fans. They didn't give a flying fuck. Frankly, honestly, <laughs> nor did I. I was just happy to talk to have a little WrestleMania back in my system, boys. You know what I mean? Good. All right. Once the rain delay was done, we move on to the w the WWE Championship match. The match I would think would have won, would have uh, started the whole thing. But no, the WWE Championship match between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre was honestly a fun match. It was one of those matches where you, uh, it was a war. It was a war between these two, and these two were just beating the piss out of each other. But unfortunately, Bobby locked in the Hurt Lock, which is a dangerous submission move. And he is still your WWE champion. Yay. Damn it. Good thing I don't have money on any of this. Then we have a tag team turmoil match. Which was a fun match because uh, it was, it was, I believe if my numbers are correct, four or five teams. And the way it worked was you had one team that started the match. And two teams that started the match, whatever team was eliminated, the team that what, that eliminated that other team, another team took came in and took their place. So the final winners of that match were Natalia and Tamina. Natalia, daughter of Jim the Anvil Nightheart, WWE Hall of Famer, and Tamina, daughter of Jimmy Superfly Snuka, WWE Hall of Famer. So that should be fun. Now, what they won was the opportunity to take on Nia Jax and uh, 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 Shayna Baszler for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships later tonight. Now, the next match, this one was one of my favorites, honestly, was Seth Rollins versus Cesaro. 
because Seth Rollins, holy, like, he's an arrogant prick. I'll put it to you like that, guys. He was an arrogant prick. So Seth Rollins <clears throat> did not want to get swung. And I don't know what swinging looks like, but Cesaro is one of the strongest superstars on the roster, so he picked up multiple times tonight. He picked up Seth Rollins and just went, woo, 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 circling around the arena. And Seth was like, oh, God. And he did it 27 times. Tw excuse me, 23 times. And then he took out Seth Rollins, like powered, slammed him to the mat, one, two, three, match over. Cesaro gets his very first WWE WrestleMania moment as a singles competitor. That's really cool, isn't it? Anyway, next match. The This is when I had dinner. I had dinner during this moment. This was about 7 o'clock. It was the New Day, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods versus the... Uh, AJ Styles and Almas, a fucking massive beast who uh, probably, according to the statistics, is seven feet tall, 400, and pound, 400 pounds. A big mama jamma. And so what happens there is, is they're all, uh, Kofi and, 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 and Xavier are handling their, handling their business pretty well against AJ. Like they're doing really well. Once Omos comes in, it's over. And I saw this coming from a mile away, right, chat? I saw this a mile away because fucking Omos just beat the piss out of him and just powered him to the floor and just, like, literally stood on one of them with a foot and pinned him that way. And it's just like, well, those titles are going to be in his, in his control for a while. So congratulations to Omos and AJ Styles for winning the tag championships. Now this one was fun. The next match is Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon in a steel cage match. A match I did not expect Braun Strowman to win. Shane McMahon all night long was talking about how good he is, how smart he is, how clever he is. And even he did have clever moments. He had... Two people, uh, Elias and Jackson Riker, pop up and try and beat the piss out of Braun, but Braun was like, oh no, you didn't. And he took the fucking, uh... <coughs> 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 oh. Basically, he beat him until they started coughing. Um, and so, Braun literally just said, okay, I'm done with you two. Yoink. Beat them up. And then... There is a moment, and I, I have a feeling it's somewhere on YouTube, and I'll, and and if you can find it, find it. Where Braun Strowman just said "fuck it," and decided to chuck Shane McMahon off a twenty to thirty foot cage to the mat below, like he was a toy, like uh, dirty toy, and threw him off the fucking cage. It was fucking great. Ah. Uh. Which I didn't so my note here says Strowman Def McMahon and I, I, I honestly couldn't believe it. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, wow bruh, wow bruh, wow bruh. Then we had the whole thing about the cla the, the, the uh, class of two thousand twenty and probably twenty one as well, I, but they didn't mention twenty one. Maybe they'll do that tonight. With the class of two thousand twenty, JBL was in it. And quite, the British Bulldog was in it. And quite frankly, JBL, honestly, like, I think his quote was, I think the thing they, they clipped from him was, uh, for the for the package was, I'm JBL, y'all, you little snowflakes can cry me a river. I, I'm not apologizing to nobody. I became a Hall of Famer because I, I stayed who I was. And I was like, good for you, Bradshaw. You're a douche, but you're our douche. Good for you. Anyway, so that happened. That was probably a time filler, whatever. Now, this match, the next match on the card was Bad Bunny versus Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus John Morrison and The Miz. And the highlight package for this one was fun simply because Damian Priest, or uh, The Miz and Morrison, excuse me, 
are honestly literally you can give them sh- just the weirdest things and they will take it and they will own it you know they'll take it and they'll own it and they'll just oh they'll just make it gold they they're like rumple stilt skin they can spin it into gold or weave it into gold or whatever the hell rumple rumple mcrumpel stilt skin does with his gold i don't know somebody's going to tell me in the comment section you yeah, an idiot but Miz and Morrison, they made fun of Bad Bunny. They thought, you're a rookie, you're, you're just an outsider, how dare you show up here? Holy fuck, dude. Bad Bunny came to play, boys and girls. Bad, if you, if, if there's a match to watch, because WrestleMania has this happen a lot, and I'm sorry, I'm, getting, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. WrestleMania has this happen a lot. Where you got someone like Bad Bunny, where you got an outsider like Bad Bunny coming in, and and, and like fucking, ever, and the wrestlers like, oh, you you know what you're doing, and Bad fucking Bunny boys, Bad Bunny whooped Miz and Morrison's tuckuses, and they call themselves the greatest tag team of the two, 21st century. Miz and Morrison do. Bad Bunny made them made them look like rookies, and it was just great. It was great. Yeah, they got some shots in. They did some some of their thing, but it was just mm, 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 yummy. Nice job, Bad Bunny. My favorite line, my favorite note to write was "Bad Bunny, Def Miz, and Morrison." And I was like, you know what? Amen to that, brother. Now this one, final match of the night. Here we go. It is Bianca Belair and versus Sasha Banks for the women. SmackDown Women's Tag Team Championships. Sasha Banks all along, all along was going, rookie, 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 loser, failure, rookie, rookie, rookie. Running her mouth, all that jazz. I have no idea. There was this sound in this match. The highlight for me, because I was completely doing this all by audio, and I, and the highlight for me, honestly, was this. I think it was something like that. Just one BAM! And it was, I believe, the braid, like the, the, the hair braid of Sasha, uh, 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 of, excuse me, of um, Bianca, just beating and hitting the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just going across some part of Sasha's body. I don't know what part. Someone can tell me. I don't know what that what that was, but it just sounded like, Thunderclap from the highlands of, of of whatever, and this this match was great because two great women, but two historical moments. Number one, two women uh, hosting uh, uh, main eventing a WrestleMania night, which has happened before, but it was three women. Number two, two African American women main eventing WrestleMania, which has never happened before. So. There you, so that's really cool as well. Anyway, that is TLDR. That is you. That is, that is everything. It is the end of night one, and oh my God, it is a TLDR night one WrestleMania 37 TLDR. This is a wrap up of this. Uh, I will be back um tomorrow for a TLDR of night two. But I'll also be streaming my reactions tonight, too, simply because I told myself I'd stream them. Uh, actually, no, I don't think I will. I think I will hold off, and I'll just do the TLDR, because I had more fun making the TLDR than I did streaming it, because it, there's more passion there, because I had notes, and I had things to take note of. So, yeah, I'll watch WrestleMania I will be on Twitter reacting to WrestleMania. Y'all can join me there. But TLDR Night 2 will be coming up tomorrow. And yeah, it has been fun. Oh, so fun. Thank you, Peacock, for having WrestleMania Night, uh, for buying the WWE Network and making it free so I don't have to spend extra money to watch. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a pleasant evening. Good night, everybody.